as you can see this is the sea order version 8.3 which android version 12 recently this was unofficial build you can see here march 27 recently the april 4th build has been available for poco x3 in order to boot into recovery either you should check for advanced restart button as you can see here there is advanced restart button to boot into recovery if you don't have that you can press the volume up button and power button simultaneously to boot into recovery and the links for recovery and the firmware is given in the community section you just scroll down two to three paragraph you will get the links for twrp recovery and the firmware for poco x3 as you can see 360 11 to surya go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvi catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card wherever you downloaded the rom zip files firmwares everything i made a separate folders each and everything go to firmware and flash always surya global 12.5.5 Point zero latest available firmware for poco x3 it's applicable for nfc2 go to home section again and select install and select the rom zip file as you can see cr droid under 12.1 2022 45 i mean april 4 and surya 8.3 zip flash this zip file i'll get closer as you can see with still with mars security patch only but the latest april 5th build this is it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed this is not a g apps build hence you need to flash g apps separately here let's go to home section and again select install and select here g apps wherever you download it. same thing flame g apps 12.1 basic arm 64 this you need to be flashed here it takes a little bit of time to flash this also as you can see G apps also flash successfully go to home section and select here wipe and select here format data and type here yes and press this tick button this is how the flashing method go to home section again and select the reboot to system this is how the flashing method if you follow the same steps you will never get any problems or you will never face any problems like boot loop or anything like that use the same recovery same firmware and same rom zip file and same G apps version then you will never face any problems and in this video we will going to see what all the benchmark results i will set up first and i will run the benchmark results and i will see the bgma gameplay and battery life everything will be explained in detail stay tuned till the end of the video and here we go it's booted into cr droid rom let's begin this video Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video, guys. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 with CR Droid version 8.3 with 5th March 2022 security patch. And kernel user is 4.14.274. Optimus Drunk Surya kernel has been used and built at April 5th. Here we go. And I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 5 minutes 4 seconds. You can see here the maximum is 155 and minimum is. 96 and average is 124 million gips that's i don't believe in this kind of applications and cpu throttle to 77 percent of its maximum performance it's because you guys asked to do i am com continuing this kind of benchmark results and these things but actual performance is shown here while using your smartphone with particular rom and uh, regarding 12.1 let me go here and select here settings as you can see this is how the home section in apps drawer and miscellaneous settings and icons you can change from here into the wallpaper sun style you get plenty of wallpapers no yeah there are plenty of wallpapers but not as in the ancient OS or pixel experience rom like that that's how it is and uh, regarding widgets go to clock and this is how it is in the CR Droid. I need to update something or what I don't know. Every time I get into widgets, it won't show the widgets of Android 12. That's how it is. And regarding quick settings panel, this is how it looks. And into the power button, you get advanced restart button and screenshot lockdown power off and emergency buttons. And into edit section, you get plenty of options here. If you want, you can add them. 
and regarding pattern the many people ask about that 3 into 3 pattern is available and even 6 into 6 is also available to unlock a smartphone this is a quick settings panel and into the screen recording you get both device audio and microphone together you can record the audio if and you can use any third party screen recording app also and dark theme those things i will explain a bit later and coming to dialer here let me increase a little bit of volume here and this is how the volume panel of it there is a lot lot more customization in the rom from battery icon to the volume panel and even the fonts lot more customization if you want to see customization complete customization video on this CR drive i will give you a card i won't explain in this video but let's see the dialer the direct video call feature is available in this room and even the call recording feature is also available as you can see and the other person will not notify that you are recording the call that's really good thing many people like this kind of implementation and into the audio effects this cool feature this is taken from lineage OS or what i don't know but if you enable this you will definitely see the difference while listening music and watching videos in your smartphone via the headphone jack even with speakers the dual stereo speakers are also loud enough that i will show you in bgmi gameplay and regarding camera application i just installed this arno build gcam wide angle works fine video works fine I already gave this to many people that's working fine if you want you can use any other gcam ports nx camera support not at done for android and this is the first official build of sierra 2 poco x3 after so many wait this is how the rom and coming to drm info here we go it comes with level 1 certification you can use all the ott application to watch in hd resolution that's not the problem and uh, safety net status i haven't installed you can judge the downloading speed i have here 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection it's fine enough as you can see even with mobile data connection also it's working fine no problem regarding that and even the earpiece volume is also fine and safety net status here we go it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use them that's how it is and coming to geekbench scores i haven't run android benchmark for this particular rom today because it takes a lot more time 548 single score and multi score is 1435 if at all i will take it i will add a screenshot here of the android benchmark result and linux 4.14.274 optimus dunk surya kernel has been used this is the differentiating factor of these particular roms like cr droid ancient os and dark fist these are almost the same just differing a little bit but any of the core performance of the rom all are very good but just the cpu throttling app detected like this and let's go into settings and see what all the things we get and into cr droid settings this is what i told i explained in so many videos i will not going to explain in detail here you can see here the only thing you need to keep in mind is this miscellaneous settings here you need to enable this higher fps in games and even the unlimited photo storage and swipe to take screenshot they added here there is one thing that is missing but anyhow l1 certification is there but that option was present before now they have removed and enable these two things then only you will get unlimited photo storage in google photos application and higher fps in games like bgma i will show in bit later and into settings and go to sound and vibration and select here me sound enhancer is also there and enable hi-fi this will make even better this really interesting that sear droid is maintaining this from long back and if you enable this okay choose headphone type and preset this is also cool features you can customize the audio configuration that is really good in this particular rom and all the basic things like vibration haptic feedback and some of the audio tweaking you can enable or disable from here that's present and accessibility menu is missing here i don't know why they removed that's how it is and into the display settings you get peak refresh and uh, as you can see minimum refresh and low refresh rate and tap to wake and tap to sleep are working fine no problem regarding that too and by default the colors kept to adaptive it is it just looks washed out keep out 
this boosted colors instead of that then it will look a little bit better and night light feature is also there and dark theme also given and by default the dark theme doesn't look pitch black condition you need to go into this CR dot settings and into user interface monet settings and this is really bad guys they removed that pitch black condition in dark mode that i really did not found out if you found out do comment down in the comment section below and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and full screen apps from here you can enable or disable for certain apps it might be it might not be playing in full screen you need to enable manually from here and lot more customization are available i already spoke about that and regarding bgmi and before that let me show you one more thing the face unlock as you can see it's very very quick that's why i really liked it even it's faster than some other MIUI roms that's how it is and even the fingerprint scanner you can see here it's also fast enough to unlock your smartphone and let me show you the charging animation and will it supports 33 watt charging it shows charging slowly let me cover the camera here okay it slowly increases it definitely supports fast charging if at all it won't support i will mention in the comment section i will pin that comment do watch comment section also and without wasting any time we go into bgmi and see what all the graphics you need to enable that in order to get higher fps in bgm and regarding graphics settings if you enable that you will get higher fps as you can see up to 90 fps i will keep the same and regarding these roms i will keep on updating in community section i will add a poll today or tomorrow keep checking my community section also guys there i will ask some more questions also and uh, recently i made a QA video also you supported that in a good way i really liked it and i want to make even further like that video so ask your questions in that particular video itself i'll pick them and i will answer in upcoming week or like that that's how it is and check the community section and here we go the real time fps count as you can see it's up to 91 fps you can reach here that's really good oh no I want to jump in bootcamp but anyhow let's go to paradise it's also a rush place you can see the real time fps count it dropped to 55 and now it's it's not stable enough here we go lot more people are coming and it's up to 57 while landing and loudness is also fine enough as you can see might be not audible for you because i am sitting away from microphone i mean the smartphone is away from microphone Oh, there was a little bit of lag there now means i would have came here and with same graphic settings as you can see smooth plus 90 fps and real time fps count you can see here it wasn't 90 fps all time but that's how it is it's up to 70 now 60 also the gameplay is fine enough just fps is dropping too much no lag whatsoever that's how you can make conclude of these four roms like descendant os and this one and ancient os and even darkfish now the evolution x is also joined the party here you can decide among these few 
ROMs which is your best gaming ROM it's up to you guys I recommend to go with Dovefest and Ancient OS and even Sea Dryad now it's fine but it takes a little bit of time to get very good performance within a single day I can't conclude let's see in the upcoming build what they will improve in this Sea Dryad particularly as of now it's working fine but just the CP throttling test results were not good but that wasn't making any difference here I will come back and okay I should come back here that's how it is and into the settings and system gestures three button navigation and go to gesture settings and here we go there is no option yeah there is option to increase the gesture height back gesture height it is pill length you can increase but there is no option to increase the pill thickness that's how it is and uh, these are the things you need to keep in mind and regarding battery life let me go into battery it, will it record or not i don't know battery usage as you can see it haven't recorded the last usage it takes a little bit of time but i can say this will be a little bit better in terms of battery life if you keep it like minimum refresh rate to 30 and uh, peak refresh rate to 120 like as i said here let me show you display again as you can see with these settings you might get very good battery life compared to any other roms like dubfest ancient OS like that but the overall performance is not good for this particular rom as compared to other roms what i spoken last like that it takes time to get this rom better i hope in the coming build it will get better now it's an official rom for poco x3 and uh, that's all guys in this video i hope i explained everything and ram management is also fine here as you can see obviously it's booted out of memory it was opened long back that's how it is and uh, thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now